Welcome to this video presentation of CASH Basis for Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. Microsoft Business Central is an accrual-based accounting system. This means that revenue and the associated direct cost is recognized as revenue is earned and expenses are recognized the time the benefit is received. When using CASH Basis, the focus is on the flow of cash. Whenever cash is collected, revenue is recognized as having been earned. Expenses are recognized when cash is dispersed. With the Cash Basis app, you will be able to run both accrual and cash basis in Business Central. The features of Cash Basis is Cash Ledger. So we have a cash ledger that where we register all the cash entries and it's completely separate from the general ledger. We have a cash adjustment journal where we can allow uh, manual adjustments to the cash ledger that otherwise would be impossible to do through the general ledger. We have a general ledger excluding cash feature that allows you to post general ledger entries without affecting cash. We also have an overpayment account where we will register all unapplied payments to purchase and sales documents. We have a separate cash accounting years that are separate from the accrual accounting years. You can have different accounting years, cash and accrual. And finally, we have a lot of cash reports and exports to Excel that will allow you to report externally. The Calculate Cash is a, a batch job that you would run on demand or you can schedule it using the job scheduler. This will allow you to run it on a regular basis automatically, but you will also have the option to run them manually. We have five cash reports that are similar to the accrual reports inside Business Central and we'll also have an export that will export the entire cash ledger with all the dimensions that you have. So we're going to do an example here so you can see how it's actually posting and so we are starting out by doing a sales invoice here and we are using a GL account for simplicity. It will work the exact same way with items, it's just simpler to see it with GL accounts. We're posting $500 to first account here and $1000 to the second one, the interest income. And down here we see a screenshot from the chart of account where we just see the balances as they are happening after the posting. So uh, when we post an invoice, there's no cash application yet. And so that's why we only see the net change here, the $500,000, and there's nothing under the net change cash yet. What we'll do now here, we're gonna try and do a short payment just so you can see how robust the system is. So we're gonna short pay it 50%. We're gonna post a cash receipt of $750 out of the 1500 total for this invoice. And you'll see the resulting chart of account here. You'll see that the net change has not changed at all for the accrual, obviously, but over here we have 750 app applied and it will actually take 50% on each of amounts and post them into cash. Now we're gonna do an overpayment. We have $750 left to be paid on this invoice and we're gonna pay $1,000 just to see what happens. And so what happens after we post $1,000 is that now the net change accrual and cash for the two accounts that we're working on, they are the same. But since we have an overpayment of $250, we had to post that somewhere and we post that to the overpayment account. If we go and take a look at the customer ledger for this particular entry, we will see here that here was the invoice for $1,500, here was the short payment of $750 and another payment of $1,000 which resulted in a remaining amount in $250. And those are the $250 that we see up here in the overpayment account. Finally, we are gonna refund the overpayment just to get everything into balance again. And we'll see once we have refunded the overpayment of $250, the accrual and cash are now the same. Purchase documents, they work in a similar fashion to sales documents when calculating the cash basis. There's really no reason for me to show that. It's just gonna work the same way. When we are posting general journals, we have a couple of options here. Usually they would post straight to the cash ledger since no accrual is happening in the general journal. But we are actually allowed to uh, exclude in cash. So if there are certain entries we don't want to see in the cash ledger, we can actually check it in the general journal. And once we post it, it won't be posted to the cash ledger. And this is a field here that is defaulted in from the journal batch. And in the journal batch, you can actually set if what the default value is. 
Here are the cash accounting years, and you'll notice here that uh, the new fiscal year is the accrual counting year, and then we have a new cash year that could be different or the same. It's entirely up to you. We have a couple of functions up here that will allow you to create and close the cash years. The cash adjustment journal is used to post entries that you just want to post to the cash ledger. And here's an example of a cash adjustment journal. We're just filling it out here and we post it and the entries will show up in the cash adjustment ledger. To summarize, the cash basis app allows you to calculate cash base with one click or automatically. You don't have to spend long hours preparing cash statements anymore because they are simply just part of Business Central and Cash Basis does it all for you to free up your time. Let's stay connected. We are available on the web, phone, email, Twitter, YouTube or LinkedIn. Thanks for listening and viewing this presentation. Yeah.